Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is 9.30. I'm starting this vlog a little bit later than usual because I edited a vlog this morning already because I really needed to get one out. It's been so hard to balance vlogging in school. It's just been so horrible. And I know I mention it in every video. I just want you guys to know that this is not gonna be my regular routine. Once the baby comes, I will be uploading more. It's just that I literally have school until the baby comes. So when it comes to nesting, keeping active my OBGYN appointments and doing school it's very hard for me to keep up with and I am trying my absolute hardest to make sure that I am that being said if you guys do miss me I am over on TikTok Instagram Patreon Patreon sees me about four times a week so if that's something that you're interested in go check it out for five dollars you get over 250 videos plus you get two lives a week sometimes i go shopping with you guys sometimes i go to costco sometimes i'm at home sometimes i'm cooking and it is so much fun and honestly patreon is what keeps this channel going so if it wasn't for patreon this channel would be bye bye because i would need to go get a job <laughs> so if you guys want to check out patreon you definitely should all right i already had my coffee i had an english muffin with egg and cheese and then for my coffee i had the brown sugar shake and espresso that i've been making literally every single day since i saw my friend kate make it i could just can't stop i can't stop it's so good so i ate about an hour ago edited a video and i'm about to take my prenatals i am officially 26 and a half weeks pregnant I will be 27 weeks in two days. So 26 weeks and five days pregnant today. I feel like the second trimester is so long. Does anyone else feel like that? The first trimester kind of flies by because you don't really feel pregnant for a lot of it. And like four weeks is basically already passed when you find out you're pregnant. And then the third trimester is like it flies by because you're like prepping for baby. And then you usually have the baby before 40 weeks. So it just feels like it's so fast. The second trimester feels like a drag. Anyways, the prenatals I'm taking, which I've talked which I've talked about before on like Instagram and so many other things is the ritual vitamin. As you guys know, I have the MTHFR gene. So finding a prenatal that had folate and not folic acid was so difficult. And then also finding one with clean ingredients that tasted good and that I could stomach was really hard. So when ritual reached out to me and wanted to work, I was like, this is perfect because I already, one, I already talk about ritual and two, I already have a bottle. This is like my eighth bottle of Ritual. I've been taking it since before I even found out I was pregnant. I have the citrus enhanced one, which helps me stomach it so much more, especially in the first trimester when, like I remember my old prenatals used to make me gag when I put it on my tongue in the first trimester, especially. But with these, because they're enhanced with citrus, they also have mint, which I've had before, but I prefer the citrus. They make it so much easier. And these are gluten-free and you guys know I am gluten-free in my house. <laughs> it's just two capsules. And I don't have to worry about taking it with food because it's like so easy on your stomach. They're designed to release in your in your small intestine instead of your stomach, which is better for absorption. And everything in here is traceable. Every single ingredient is traceable. I also trust Ritual because the CEO of the company was actually a pregnant woman who was trying to find a prenatal that she trusted and she knew that was safe and she couldn't find one. So she developed her own. That is totally something I would do. <laughs> if I wasn't lazy. So yes, Ritual wanted to work together, but at the same time, this is like the perfect collaboration ever because I already take Ritual. If you guys follow me on Patreon or on Instagram, you know that I've already been taking Ritual. I've been taking it for so long now. And one of the main reasons why I took it is because there was folate. Another reason why I love it is they offer subscriptions. So you don't have to remember to order it when you're almost out. It literally shows up at your doorstep, which is so much easier. Pregnancy brain is real and forget things is real so because ritual is so awesome they are offering you guys 25% off using my link and if you don't like it within the first 30 days the order is on them but I promise you you won't have that issue because I absolutely love it if you guys are interested in ritual click the link down below all right guys so for today we have a couple plans we have one cooking a chicken two doing school three going live four washing and putting away baby clothes. 
and five, trying to survive. Also, can we be real about the Stanley Cup for a minute? I have a couple things I want to say. One, I don't love the Stanley Cup. I feel like the Stanley Cup is a huge trend that really isn't worth it. I don't love it. I don't like that it spills all the time. I don't like that, yes, you could fit in a cup holder, but if me and Josh are going somewhere, we can't put both of them in the cup holder because this is too thick and they end up banging into each other and they don't sit in the cup holder. And I don't find that it keeps my water as cold as like some of my other cups. Will I ever buy another Stanley again? No. Did I buy it to be on the trend? Yes. How often do you guys wash your, your Stanley? I know you're supposed to like take apart the stuff and whatever. I probably do it once every two weeks, maybe. That's on, that's on like a productive good month if, if I'm doing it twice a month. If you guys say you wash this every day, you're a liar. So don't, I've not made the bed yet. That's why there's pillows on the floor. Um, but well, what's wrong? I just scared him by grabbing this. What's wrong, buddy? I got this Nuna leaf off of Facebook Marketplace when I was pregnant with Luca. Now I just put all of these, I actually washed these and hang dried them. So I did that last night and now they're all dry. So we're gonna assemble it. What do you guys think? I wish I had like an electric one, but I'm so cheap. Obviously, I think this goes on first. I assume I just literally slide it over. Kappa, this is not for you. Kappa, you're gonna break it. You're too fat. Okay, wait, now I'm confused. <gasps> Did I do this? Is it, was it really this easy this whole time? Kappa, you, you can't sit in here, buddy. <laughs> just give me a second, then you can try it out. Okay, I think I got it. And then we put this in here. I feel like that's right. Right? Is that right? Okay, Gappa, you can try it. And then there's a thing here. I think this is to stop it. Yeah, and then this is to, you just do this and then it keeps going. Kappa, you wanna try it? All right, guys, I am now finally going through my box of IVF medication. Yes, that is a huge Costco box of bananas filled with needles and this whole thing is filled with needles <laughs> this whole thing is filled with needles these are more needles yeah i have a lot um i am gonna go through this i want to keep stuff for memories but i don't need like like i have so many pills <sighs> i don't know what to do so we're gonna go through this <sighs> all of this <laughs> so i was debating on whether to keep all of this like there's so many needles in there there's probably over like a hundred and something needles for memories but i'm like that's kind of gross and um <laughs> i've literally documented everything so i feel like i need to let it go i feel like there's no point i'm a huge advocate for like getting rid of stuff i do not like hoarding stuff so i'm just gonna get rid of it there's no point in keeping it so we're gonna go bring this to the pharmacy to properly dispose and then i have some like extra expired stuff in there all right so the window's open because i'm airing it out in here so yesterday night i washed the so this is the mattress the mattress came with this which i'm assuming is like a protector but um i didn't know that so i purchased a separate protector so we're just gonna like i don't know i, I don't know if i can put both on i have no idea but i did wash it so maybe i will sell it or something i don't know anyways this is a mattress protector i'm pretty sure so yeah i don't know i feel like this needed to be washed so we're gonna go ahead and Put this on. All right, I am about to go live on Patreon. It is 12, 13. What I did today mostly was just cleaning. I still need to do school. So what I'm gonna do is go live and make lunch, eat lunch. And then after my live, I'm going to do some school work. And then I have some more like nesting stuff we can do tonight. I have to do some laundry and hang those up. I'm still missing like vital things. Like I need to get shelves up. I need a hamper. I mean. Those aren't vital, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just can't organize until all the furniture is in there. Well, the furniture's in there, but like the shelves. Is that considered furniture? No, I don't know. Also, I kept seeing comments, like my friend was posting, okay, how do I like avoid postpartum hair loss or how do I stop it? And a lot of people were saying like, oh, get pregnant again. And I'm here to tell you that that absolutely does not work. You probably can't tell, but I have like a bunch of little like baby hairs growing in that 
I just did not have before. I don't even know where to put them. And I got pregnant three months postpartum, so definitely getting pregnant again does not help or stop postpartum hair loss. There is no way to avoid postpartum hair loss, no matter the oils, no matter the medications gonna happen so anyways i'm gonna go live on patreon and make lunch i have no idea what i want for lunch literally zero clue is that called being in denial for <laughs> no for lunch today we have like a snack plate i already ate like half of it but we have like cheese this is a smoked cheese from some cheese place here i don't know it's actually called the cheese place <laughs> yeah cheese barley pickled beets my favorite sugar mm. snap peas pepperoncini pepper olives nuts and tomato i just started <laughs> i'm trying to pace myself today <laughs> well it's actually like 3 30 but i'm making a whole roast chicken and that takes like it's a pretty big chicken so it's probably going to take like an hour and 15 minutes in the oven plus another like 10 to 15 minutes to cool down before slicing so i need to start cooking now because we eat pretty early we eat at like five something um sometimes six we don't really eat that late because we're in bed and asleep by like nine or ten <laughs> i fall asleep probably before 10 30 or at least max before 11 every single night because we get up pretty early so we're gonna make a little rub we're gonna do poultry seasoning parsley paprika garlic so, no garlic salt, garlic powder, and I could do sage, but there's already sage in there. No sage. And onion powder. I love the taste of poultry seasoning because it reminds me of like, I don't know, it just smells like Thanksgiving. Oh, so I use a lot of poultry seasoning. I also usually use fresh garlic, fresh parsley, and lemon, but Josh does not like lemon and stuff. I love lemon, like lemon chicken, um, lemon everything, lemon loaf. Josh doesn't like lemon, so he asked me to not to make it without lemon today. And usually he likes everything I make. And he still likes it, like he eats it every time he goes back for seconds, but he just prefers without lemon. So I'm going to try making it without lemon. All right, I'm gonna be touching raw chicken. So I am just gonna do this one take because I'm not gonna be able to touch my camera until I turn it off. Yes, I'm using my bare hands. It's really hard to use gloves when you need to get inside of the chicken. I will wash my hands, don't worry. I've never given us food poisoning yet. Okay, so I totally forgot I had a hair tie on my wrist. I threw out this hair tie after. My hair tie was covered in butter and then my, my bracelet I also forgot I had on. So I took that off and I disinfected it and like stuff like that. But I literally threw out the hair tie because I'm like, okay, like why would I do this with my hair tie? I took off my rings and then I just forgot to keep my hair tie. It's just disgusting. So I threw out the hair tie and I did disinfect my <laughs> bracelet, okay? That is disgusting to me. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I think I was distracted from filming. I don't know. Right, this is the finishing product it looks actually really disgusting <laughs> and the reason being is usually you're supposed to baste it but i lost the um what is it called the turkey baster like the thing that you suck up the juices with i lost it and i couldn't get the juices under there without moving the whole chicken so it kind of burnt a little bit i don't have to justify it because i know i'm a good cook so i don't have to justify it but it's gonna taste good it's gonna taste good
All right, so, so far this is what the nursery is looking like. We still have to get like little things to hide, like to hold the drapes. Like it looks a little crazy right now. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. We still obviously have to do a lot. But this is huge progress, huge. Yeah, I think was, this room was kind of beat up. Yeah, okay, oh, so. This look like, actually, this is really nice. I think we did a little too much beige in here. I think we should start adding color. <laughs> How do you want it? Like this or this one? I'm not sure. As you can see, this is super slippery, like to the point where it's like a, like it's dangerous. Um, and a lot of people were saying like, put an anti-slip thing. The problem, it isn't that this is slipping up. It's that it's literally like, look, it's so soft that it's slippery. It has nothing to do with the bottom. Yeah. The bottom actually has grip. That's not the problem. So doing an anti-slip thing is going to do nothing because it's not, the carpet, it's like the rug itself isn't sliding. It's the actual like softness of this. Okay, so I don't want to hear the comments about how beige it is, but this is what it looks like so far. Super neutral, super beige. The camera's actually really not doing it justice. No, it's not. It's like really yellow on camera. Yeah, it's like brownish on camera, yeah, but. and it does not look like that in person. No, but maybe I'll insert a picture here on my iPhone. Maybe it will look different. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is going to be in the same vlog, probably because it's all about nursery stuff, but. I am here to show you guys a little haul that I did for a baby girl. So as I was putting away her stuff in this dresser, I realized I have no clothes. <laughs> it looks like you have so many clothes when you actually separate them from like months. It's like you'd really realize you only have like four of everything. I know it's really easy to overbuy baby things because sometimes they're not, sometimes they skip a whole stage, like a whole month of um, growth. Sometimes like they go straight into newborn. Sometimes they go straight into three to six months. Sometimes your baby's in preemie clothes when they're not a preemie. I know it can be very, a broad spectrum. So I try, I would like to say that I wanna be that mom that buys as my baby needs it, but I'm not. Um, I'm excited. I've been waiting five years to buy baby clothes. So yes, I know um, I'm probably overbuying, but I don't have many clothes on my registry actually. And I have like all age ranges. I noticed I don't have a lot of like newborn stuff and I don't have a lot of zero to three. I felt like specifically sleepers. I have three, I think newborn sleepers. I have three newborn sleepers with a zipper and it's been very hard for me to actually find some in my thrifting stores. I went to Once Upon a Child and I actually originally went to Once Upon a Child to find newborn or zero to three sleepers and they are like always gone sleepers are so popular well that makes sense why they're so popular um they're an easy outfit they go through them a lot and they're zippers so i understand but i ended up going for that and now i am spending way more money papa is walking by of course he has to walk by in every video that i do so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I also noticed I just really don't have any, like like I said, zero, like newborn to three months. I really don't have much. Um, a lot of the stuff that I ended up getting was three to six, six to nine. I felt like that was really easy to find. So I purchased a lot. I didn't get many sleepers because I can't find any. So I might actually need to buy brand new ones, which I'm trying to avoid. Kappa is sniffing the camera. So I spent $66. And I'm just gonna do it really fast just because I feel like it can get really repetitive. Most of these are newborn. I'm not gonna like show you the size or price on every item because it would take forever. But yeah, this is all of the items so far. I felt like, I felt like there were so many cute things and she will be a summer baby. She will be born literally at the end of May and it's March right now and it's already 60, no, it's right now it's 71 degrees outside and it's March, so March 3rd. That is pretty fast. So she's probably gonna be hot. My biggest thing is like knowing what size she's gonna be because she can come out small, she can come out bigger. Sizes might not even fit her, but they're all thrifted and they're all like dollars. Like this is four bucks. I mean, that's kind of a lot, but they're all so cheap that for me, it's like, I'm just gonna give them back to Once Upon a Child if she doesn't use them. And I'm sure I'll have friends that are going to need clothes. So cute. Yeah, my biggest problem right now is finding sleepers, which I know they spend the majority of their time in. So these are the only sleepers I found, and they weren't even for newborn. I found one that was for six to nine, which I feel like is so easy to find, six to nine sleepers. 
And then I have this one, which is like the one with the open bottom, which I love because it's so easy to do diaper changes and they can grow into it. Like this is kind of like, a, it's not like a one size fits all, but it's like she can use this for a long time. And that's the only other one I found. I found no other ones. And obviously she's not going to use this as a newborn. It's huge and it would be like a hazard. So I don't know. I just, that's like for her when she's like one. So I got a bunch of like onesies for the daytime, but I just could not find many sleepers. So I think I'm going to have to order some, which I've been trying. I've been trying to make a conscious effort this pregnancy not to buy a single outfit that's brand new, which I haven't. They've all been thrifted or given to me or whatever. So I'm really trying not to, but I think it's going to be unavoidable at this point. That is what I got for 66 bucks. I did spend a little bit more than I wanted to. I usually only go on their sales, but I just felt like celebrating my pregnancy today. And whenever I feel like that, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stop it because I don't get those days very often where I'm excited. I, most of my days are filled with fear. So I decided to celebrate. So yeah, that's my little clothing haul.